Ladies and gentlemen, according to the U.S. Census, in 2023, New York had seen the biggest population drop in the whole country. And I don't blame people for leaving out of there. The cost of living in New York is outrageous. And the incomes definitely have not kept up with the housing cost at all. And, you know, and that is one of the biggest complaints people have, and, and it's why they relocate. And even during the pandemic, it was a huge number of people leaving Florida. A big chunk of them went down to Florida. More of them went down to Texas. You know, they are leaving the Northeast altogether and going down to Southern states where the cost of living is a lot cheaper. Okay, so y'all, let's get into it. So New York, it is said that they have lost the biggest chunk of their population in 2023 alone. And this is according to the U.S. Census. The Bureau released a map showing the percentage change in the state population between July 2022 and July 2023, New York stands out as the only state that went in a deep orange, which means they lost minus 0.5 or more of their population. Wow. In fact, along with the 0.5% rate of population decline, the Empire State also recorded the largest decline in pure numbers with a drop of almost 102,000 residents, almost 74,000 international arrivals, and the state's natural increase of more than 41,000 residents couldn't offset the almost 217,000 New Yorkers who departed the state from mid-2022 to 2023. Still, the 0.5% drop marks a much smaller decline than last year, 180,000 persons lost. The state population remains the fourth largest in the U.S., with 19,571,216 residents behind California, Texas, and Florida. For comparison, New York population was 20,202,320 in 2020. The census determined how many U.S. congressional seats each state gets. If the trend continues through 2030, New York could lose three U.S. House seats. New York was the only one of eight states to see its population decline over this period, joined by California at minus 75,423, Hawaii minus 4,261, Illinois minus 32,826, Louisiana, minus 14,274, New York, minus 101,984, Oregon, minus 6,021, Pennsylvania, minus 10,408, and West Virginia, minus 3,964. So as far as the region, population change, the biggest change occurred in the Northeast at minus 0.1%. The Midwest, 0.2%. The South, 1.1%. And the West, 0.2%. So the most shift occurred in the Northeast, and that was people leaving. 
Yeah, I mean, these states, they cost too much money to live in. They really do. Housing is outrageous. And all of these houses out here are very overpriced. So the vast majority of growth, 87% came from the South. A region the Census Bureau defines as a stretching from Texas to Maryland and Delaware. Texas saw the biggest change, adding more than 473,000. Florida saw the second biggest bump with 365,000 people. The Northeast was the only census designation region in the U.S. to see a decline this year. Still, New Jersey saw a slight growth at around 30,000, despite seeing population losses in 2022. New York population shrank by 5% between April of 2020 and July of 2022. According to the report, this was a report released by the state. The population loss driven by the pandemic effectively wiped out nearly three quarters of the population gains made during the prior decade. Many of those who fled the city either moved to other parts of New York or New Jersey, with many people citing the persistently high cost of living as a reason for exiting the city. Yeah, and you know what, y'all? I believe over the next decade, that's going to get even worse. Ain't nobody trying to live in New York and pay those outrageous rents. And the housing and the taxes are outrageous. It's just ridiculous that they think anybody would want to be in that city to live. When you look at the apartments, I mean, what you pay in a, for one apartment, you probably can get three apartments in another state for the same amount of money. But y'all tell me what you think. And if you are a New Yorker, do you have family members or friends or even know people that have left, you know, but they seem to be trying to make up for what they're lacking in the population with migrants flooding them in there. And that situation, it just seems to get worse by the day. You know, y'all, I saw a video that they uh, put a drone up in the air to show the people coming across the border. I have never in my living days seen such a massive amount of people coming to that border. It is just crazy. And they said this is going on every single day. And at the rate that New York is going is like the residents are leaving and they're being replaced by migrants. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.